we are dipping this water here to see if there are any larvae in it. I don't see anything in this dip. So it could take a couple of dips. But if we see it, then any in here, then we will um, treat it accordingly with what we need to. You should be able to see because this is pretty clear. There's not a lot of vegetation in the water. Mm -hmm. So with your naked eye, if there were larvae in there, you should be able to see it. And at this time, this looks pretty good. Um, I'll just come back in another, you know, tomorrow and look again. Because the longer it sits, um, the better the chances are that if there's some mosquitoes out here, they'll lay some eggs and we'll have some activity. So, we have storm drains in areas it's another thing that we treat on regular basis um, and you can do this as a pretreatment because they're known habitats for mosquito larvae um, so basically we would be through the area and anywhere there's a storm drain we put in either um, dumps or BTI dumps or uh, WSP out to sea okay and then that's good for up to a month just drop it in and the BTI kills the larvae instantly whereas the alphacid stays in there um, and it just affects the larvae so that it can't emerge to the to the adult stage from the stage. So that way it's food for whatever might be in there to feed on it while it's still there like the minnows or tadpoles and other aquatic such as that So this is another part of the job that we do. We have the ditches in the county that we can get to access. Uh, we dip them, we find larvae, and as long as it's between first and early third instar, then we use BTI to spray the ditches. So if you see us driving down the road and we have our arms out with the hose, that's what we're doing and that's what we're getting strictly for the larvae it doesn't affect any other aquatic life that's in here so here at mosquito control when you call in for service requests what we do is if you give us permission we are allowed to come to your house and we do a check inspection to see what if anything you have that might be breeding and what if anything we can do to help you with your problem so when we come and we get permission to look what I'm going to do is look for potential things that could be holding mosquito larvae um, I'll look for things like your gutters uh, if they're holding any debris there's a possibility there. You'll want to get those cleaned and or put the screens on them. Um, your flower pots, you want to make sure that if you have them, they don't have bottoms that will hold um, because those are things that can breathe. Anything that's going to hold water, you want it to be out of an area where it can um, because it doesn't take that much. And then you have things like um, buckets for rainwater. If you're going to have these, you're going to want to put like a screen over it possibly, um, screen wire. You can take um, something as simple as a bungee cord once you put that screen over the bucket and bungee it around so that a mosquito can't get in, but the rainwater can still um, fill your buckets up for your plants. At this time, there's nothing in there, but that would be a potential if the resident had some mosquitoes flying around. Another possible container would be a bird bath. Um, any of these that hold water have the potential. So you're gonna want to empty them, physically empty, um, every three days during the season. And 
then we're going to go around um, and look at the terrain of your property if you have a big piece of property there's a lot of times where the property is not built up and if we get a lot of water you might have water holding in your yard um, I'm going to recommend if possible that you have that kind of filled in um, this way it levels your ground and you won't have the water holding back there. So another thing we have that I would look for would be your trash cans. Obviously this is out in the open, so there is the possibility that if we get rain, even with these being turned upside down, you have potential pockets that will hold water being here and the lip of the can. So you're gonna wanna make sure that those are under a cover if at all possible and if not then you're going to have to make sure that if there's rain water on them or irrigation water that it's emptied out um, any buckets or containers same thing make sure that there's no water in them that if you have a bucket it's got a hole in it so it's going to drain for any of the potting too another thing we like to that i like to tell people container wise when you have these rain barrels um, is to make sure that, if at all possible, you don't have it so that the gutter or the system is in the rain barrel because if it's just sticking down in there, then it's leaving an opening for the mosquitoes to fly down in and still come back up. And so you'll have your water in here for watering your plants, but the mosquitoes go crazy. So if you can, make sure that you have a lid on it and you can also get a screen put over it. Um, have it so that the water runs down. It still goes into, but it's covered so that mosquitoes and or any other type of bug or insect can't go into it. So it's strictly just the water. So on completion of this service request, I found potential places where mosquitoes can be. And in the water that was present, there was no larvae. So I would recommend to the homeowner the precautions to take to keep larvae out. And because there's no larvae at, or mosquitoes at this time, um, there's no spraying that can be done because you need to have the actual mosquito in order to spray um, the, to do the fogging, sorry. Um, because you have to have contact for that to work. So we're just going to give the resident things they need to know um, what they can do to help themselves in the future and they are pretty mosquito free at this moment. You want to be able to be outside during the day and enjoy whatever you're doing. So control would mean for the most part if you're out during the working day or the sunlight days and you're not getting carried away by mosquitoes, that's control. 